What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turning up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you. What you wanna do now? What's to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love? Hey. We're going out. We're gonna eat. Uh. We're gonna eat lunch at House of Pizza. And then we're going home because the place we were going to is next weekend. Not this weekend. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Ambulance. They're fire trucks. Uh huh. Yup. That's the fire truck. Hooray! Hey! Hopefully the camera will fall. So we just went to the P.O. box. We haven't checked it. In, I don't even remember the last time we checked it. But we got a package. Do you remember the last time we checked the peel box? It was probably last month or <laughs> a month before. <laughs> we checked it last month. What? It's in pretty pink packaging. Oh my goodness. Go where, baby? Right there. Oh, we're not going to the Dollar General. She wants to go to the Dollar General. Yeah, we want to go like I know, we haven't been there either in a while. We're going to go to a different store. We're going to see if we can find Sissy some shoes for her dress. Pretty shoes. They look really cute. Happy Sunday. Any pretty flowers. Hold this. Hold this. Yep, yeah, I can pick the flowers. Oh, you're gonna go pick some flowers. 
Oh, they're so beautiful. You need to pick them and give them to Papa. Oh, look at these ones. These ones are super tiny and cute. See them? Yeah. Look at those ones. Can you pick one of those super tiny ones? Fine. She found a flower. Not yet. Frogs aren't out yet. Probably go catch us some tadpoles though. Whoa. Whoa. Are these flowers? Yeah. For me, everyone. Okay. Oh, my feet are getting wet. The grass is wet. I'm getting wet. I don't want to get wet. Let's go before we see a bumblebee. Come on, let's go in the house. Oh, maybe a spider. Mama, don't do spiders. I'd rather do a bumblebee over a spider. Oh my goodness. What happened? Do you see what I see? Yeah. What do you see? We can put that power up. If you want to. Growing right on the porch, huh? I got my shoes all wet. These are our dream deals, fine. Oh no. Oh, thank you. Can you go put it on the table for me? Here, put it right here. We'll save it. Put it right here. <laughs> He's just gonna sit right there? Come on, let's go over here, guys. This is where my feet. Right there. Been dug up. Okay. Been piled up for a long time, but it can, and there's a tar foot fire for you on the put it. You'll never fall in love again. Sing it, girl. Hey, them stepping stones around here whenever you want. Never fall in love. Where's the stepping stones? She had that flower because you know how they had that flower in their hand. They were singing that song. Never fall in love again. Sing it, girl. Never fall in love again. What you gonna do? I'll take my toad. Give him a hug. She's never gonna fall in love again. Don't roll. Journey, go this way. Fly that way. I hear somebody laying an egg. Somebody in here laying an egg. Hey. Come on, guys. Jessica, no. So this is a rooster we gotta get rid of right here. This is one of the Bantam roosters. But he is very mean. He'll come attack me. Watch. Ladies, look, her poor back. Ouch! That's my ring. You're trying to snatch my diamond? Huh? You're gonna need, you need out. You need out. There you go. I'm letting her out. They're weenies. Um, what are their names? They tell uh, me what we, all their names are. We have, I know there's only one that we marked, which is Surf Loof Bottom. Oh. That's Ethan's chicken. You're not allowed to That one must that. be a rooster. Uh, 
Over there? I'm guessing. I'm honestly not sure. Are you yours? Well, that, see, that one looks different. That one looks different. That one looks different. They don't have the fuzzy heads. That's my favorite, the gray. That one looks different. <laughs> there is a fluff bottom on here. It's prob It's the smallest one with the fluff head. It's really cool. These are silkies. <laughs> We're gonna pick us up about 20 of them. as many as you want. No. Salsarina. We're gonna eat again. No. The last time I vlogged, I think it was always at Papa's after we ate. Let's go. The girls are at Julie's, so we're taking advantage of this opportunity and having a Sunday afternoon date. Even though I have three ribbon trims to make. But I can do it. I can do three ribbon trims. I used to do it all the time. Just out of practice. Gotta put the pedal to the metal, right? What? I gotta put the pedal to the metal. I don't wanna run over. And what? Sewing. Sewing machine. I am freaking the freak out right now. I'm trying not to. I'm not trying to. No. You guys, the babies are gone. I just came. Okay. <laughs> Where would the babies be? Where would the babies be, guys? Did somebody steal the babies? Okay. So we went to uh, we went to town to drop the girls off, and I just called somebody right now to get the babies disbudded, and they said they can disbud them. So I'm like, okay. And now the babies are gone. Did somebody steal them? Like seriously, I don't know. I'm freaking out. I don't think the babies would leave their mama. Where are the babies? I'm like, like, I'm freaking out right now. I don't know what to do. My husband just went to go get the girls so they can hold the babies. And we don't have no babies. You guys look. <laughs> I was freaking the freak out. I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys. I just called my husband. I'm like, Freaking out and crying. You guys. Oh my gosh. I just ripped that thing off. Oh my gosh. Um, they'll forget about it in another hour or so. Yeah. And they won't have horns. You know how Millie's got horns? And she tries to get you. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it burned. It burned. <laughs> it's now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Already. You know what? I didn't smell it till y'all said that. Oh, my God. Right, yes. She didn't okay. scream too bad. Hey, guys. So we are home. And uh, yeah. Um, So we went to church this morning, and then we ate at Papa's like we usually do, and um, then we went to get a coffee, and then Sterling wanted to go to Alyssa's, or Alyssa wanted Sterling to come down and play. And so we went down there, and I was like, I wanted to see her silkies, and she's the one, she ordered 50 silkies for her daughter for Christmas, so those were the silkies that you saw, the chickens. Um, they had 50, 51 was shipped to them, um, one died, so they had 50, and then they got rid of 10, and then had, um, 
two more die, I think. I don't know. I think they have 38 chickens, 38 silkies. Anyway, um, yeah. So we wanted to go do a little uh, shopping for Easter and stuff because it's in two weeks. And normally I've had I have it done by now, but it, you know, circumstances we haven't yet. So we went to go do that. So we did that. Um, and then me and my husband went. It was like a mini date. We went to Salsaritas and we ate dinner. It was probably around 4.30, close to 5. And um, I figured the girls would probably eat at Julie's or they'd come home and just eat something. Because no matter what I make, it's, they're picky eaters. Like, Journey will pick. It just depends on what it is. Like, if I made spaghetti, they'd probably both eat it all up. But if I made, like, um chili or if I made you know they would kind of pick but not really eat and then they'd end up eating something else later so um so we ate then we came home and we asked if they were ready to come home yet and they weren't so they played some more and I edited a vlog and uploaded it's up it should be uploaded right now um but then um Oh, so then I was online, um, and I was like thinking, well, the babies will be two weeks old on Thursday, and I know you can't wait too long to get their horns disputted, and usually between two and three weeks you can do it, uh, just depending on how fast they grow. Boys grow faster than girls, but yesterday when I was out there and I could feel the darker one, which we are calling Dixie, I think, y'all... So I was thinking of names and I came up with Dixie and Clementine. I don't know why, but it just kind of like, you know what I mean? Kind of stuck. So then I was like, well, we don't really have to name them that. We can name them something else. So I started to go around like um, some of the names I wanted. There was, um, I thought of Martha May and Betty Lou. So they would have two names because you all know how I give all my animals two names anyway, right? Otis James. <laughs> so, um, uh, and Trixie Mae, and yeah, so I was like, well, that would, you know, Martha, if you don't know, it's from the Grinch movie, um, Martha Mae, oh yay, and Betty Lou, so I thought those would be cute names for them. Um, I also liked, like, Nellie, I, I thought about naming one Nellie, like, from not technically but you know i love little house on a prairie and i thought i can name one nelly i can name one laura you know but nah um and then we liked there was two m's because we thought about something to go with millie and um what were they now i can't even my brain can't even think of it now mm. I'll have to think of what it was. I can't, like, anyway. Oh, Nelly. Oh, the one, instead of Nelly and Laura, I thought about doing Nelly and Nancy. Because, you know, in Little Hustler Perry, um, they had Nelly and then they adopted Nancy, who looked just like Nelly. You know what I mean? So I thought that would be cute, Nelly and Nancy. But, um, but I think we're going to go with Dixie and Clementine, because... It just feels right, you know what I mean? I don't know. So, anyway. Um, so, um, I messaged the people. We took the GOAT 101 class. And so I messaged him. His name is Scott. And I was like, do you guys just bud um, babies? Because we had babies on the floor. And he was like, yeah, he can do it. And I was like, okay. He's like, call me. So I called him. And he was like, yeah, I can do it. Um... And he was like, can you feel them yet? And I said, I can just, you know, one's bigger than the other. And I can start, I can feel the one on the bigger one. So um, he's like, all right, you can come now. So I was like, okay. And it was just $20 each, which was cheaper than um, one, buying the stuff and doing it myself, which I would hate to do it because that's just not something I, I mean, I watched. Oh. What is it? I think Atlanta's going to be just too hard to, just a nasty mess. 
Anyway, my husband showed up. I don't even know what I was talking about. Hmm. Okay, so anyway. I really don't remember what I was talking about. Okay, I know what I was talking about. This bunny. <laughs> so anyway. Um, he said he could do it. Scott said he could do it. And it was going to be $20. And so, um, Sterling and Journey were still at Alyssa's house. So, uh, I was like, well, I need them to come with us. Well, I need Sterling at least to help somebody to hold one of the goats. And so, Julie, cousin Julie, came with us too. And so, they held the goats and we went there. And then, um, I keep, they have so many beautiful goats. And so, he did it. And as you guys saw, um, I don't know how much of the footage I will use if all of it, and if you're squeamish, I'll probably put a disclaimer, you know, just, you know, but, um, yeah, so, and you know, they told us like what to look out for and stuff like after they have it done and, you know, um, when we give them back to mama, make sure we give them butt first instead of head first. Cause if you give them head first and she smells it, she might not take to them. So if you give them butt first, she smells the butt, and yeah, these are my goats, and she's just like, yeah, okay. Um, so she, you know, we put them in there, and she kind of smelled them and licked their butts, and then she ate, and so I, I assume they are all okay. And yeah, so now our babies don't have, won't have any horns. They won't, their horns won't grow, um, which I wanted from the get-go. Um, I, you know, Millie and Flynn, I was hoping you know they wouldn't have horns just because um when you have goats with horns like they can hurt you but not necessarily i mean if you raise them right and they're around you and stuff they probably wouldn't hurt you um i don't know about flint because you know how flynn was flynn was you know bad but they said um the goats can hurt other other goats you know what i mean you know can hurt them really bad so I'm glad that we got that done and that is like marked off, checked off my list. But it is nine o'clock and I have to make these three ribbon trims and then I have to finish two shirts. There's actually more that I have to get done, but I'm like this, these are my top priority. And if I get these done, then I'll worry about the other things tomorrow and then ship them. But me and my husband, while we were out, we went to Walmart and we did some shopping and I picked this dress up. So we've been going back to church and I'm really excited and thrilled about going back to church. It's just something, um, it just, it makes you feel better. Okay, I'm, I'll be 100% honest. Um, it just makes you more, I don't know. It just, you're, you're filled with the Holy Spirit. That's all I can say. It just get that like energized, revived, like kind of feeling. And uh, I mean, I can totally notice a difference um, within the past three weeks we've been going back and it's just, I don't know, it's its just a wonderful way to start our work, our week is going to church and you're totally, you know what I mean? I don't know. People, some people get it, some people won't, some people probably think it's hogwash but it's just coming from, we didn't go for almost nearly a year. Well we did go but it wasn't like continual like like normally we would go every single Sunday but anyway aside from all of that journey needs more dresses to wear to church um, so I've been you know collecting her more dresses because all her other dresses she did not grown I picked up two yesterday at Burke's they're um, little sundresses though so I need more like these so I bought this one and my idea is to put a little pair of polka dotted rain boots on this in yellow and I think that would look so cute so I have that And then I have still have this one that I picked up the other day too. So this one I don't know what I'm gonna do with. I thought about strawberry, watermelon, even I don't know. It's pink tie dye. It's really cute. This one I want to do rain boots because I think it would look amazing. But I really need to get these ribbon trims done first. So I'm hoping I'll get these nine, ten, eleven at least by eleven. And then I might during one of these set the machine up to stitch out one. So. Hey guys, so it is actually 12.08, so I have not made, I haven't started up my embroidery machine, I haven't made anything, 
I'm still working on ribbon trims, you guys. And I'm tired. I'm really, really tired. I am. Um, I took a dose of Benadryl. Um, a Benadryl always makes me tired, but it was children's <laughs> Benadryl. And the reason I did take a dose, um, Sterling said that she's been, you know, she kind of felt ugh. And she thinks it's allergies and the pollen has been pretty bad. The trees outside blooming and everything. And I have realized that the past probably week, every um, morning when I wake up, like one side of my nose is clogged. So I've got some allergy stuff going on as well. So I was like, well, I'll just take a little dose of this Benadryl. What can it hurt, right? That was an hour ago. So now I'm tired. But Journey woke up, and so my husband went to bed, and so I had to stop, and she wanted this and that, and change the channel and put this on, and um, then I talked to my husband for a bit. So yeah, I'm not done yet. I'm still working on my three ribbon trims. Rainbow ribbon trims are so hard for me to make now because I'm on a purple after this one because I changed out my thread color to match. Um, the colors so uh, as soon as uh, this is done and um, I'm still waiting for my mint ribbon so I did every color but mint and I will do that when it comes in in the morning So I'm waiting for that to come in and then once that comes in um, I'm gonna get up in the morning I'm gonna make the two shirts that has to go with these ribbon trims one shirt is already done it was done yesterday and then package those up and then work on the other orders that I have. So anyway, I'm going to end the vlog. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.